Hey, hey, it's your girl Laura Messiah here. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you why I left the world of celebrity styling and went into the magical world of personal styling. Let's talk about it. Okay, so in the beginning of my career, pre-styling, actually let's go way back, before I even had a career, I have always known that I've wanted to do something fashion related since I was five years old. That's when I fell in love with fashion, started making clothes for my Barbies, started making clothes for myself. I'm like, this fashion thing, this is awesome. So I went to school for fashion design, thought I was going to be this amazing designer be at New York Fashion Week, taking my bow at the end of the runway. Like that was the dream until it wasn't, until reality hit that, oh, it's actually not that easy to just boop, be a designer. Uh, designers don't really get paid a lot of money <laughs> and the trajectory to get to be like a superstar designer, you know, it's a, it's a track. I wasn't willing, wasn't willing. I ended up working retail which not really what I wanted to do with my life, but that's when the seed was planted for me that styling would be really cool. However, at the time, nobody knew about stylists. So I had worked retail for a year or so, maybe a little bit more, and just kind of gave up on the fashion dream. I got a nine to five job. I worked at a desk in a cubicle. It was terrible. It wasn't until 2009 when I saw the Rachel Zoe project, 2009, 2008, I don't know, somewhere around there. Saw the show, the Rachel Zoe project and was like, oh, this is it. Oh my gosh, you can shop. It's like retail, but for celebrities on steroids, there's glamor and there's red carpets. This is what I want to do with my life. So I figured out how to become a celebrity stylist. We'll save that tale for another video. We don't have time for that today. But I got into the world of celebrity styling. I was working on music videos and red carpets and magazine shoots and the glamour. Yeah, I'm still looking for it. Oh my gosh. One of my first jobs was working on a music video. And that joint, it was a 14 hour day, 14 hours on set. We were inside, we were outside, it was late, we were hungry. I was like, it's like 2 a.m., we're not done yet? <laughs> like, can I go home? No, we could not go home. And the jobs after that were pretty much the same thing. If we weren't working till 2 a.m., then we were getting started at 5 a.m whoa, I was not into that life, okay? So that is kind of like where my career started and very early on, I'm like, mm -hmm. not what I thought. So another reason why I left was because I wanted to get into styling because of that experience that I had in the retail environment. Now, I didn't like working retail. I didn't like the money that was in retail. But what I did like was having my customers feel really confident and beautiful and excited about the clothes that I put them in. And I would often fantasize about them going out in those clothes and like taking over the world, like crushing the job interview, going on the first date and it ends up being her husband and they get married and they have kids and like, my outfit helped them. That is what made me excited about the idea of styling at all. I just didn't know it was possible to do that. So I went into the celebrity world. So when I was working with celebrities, I didn't get that excitement and that gratitude of like, oh, I feel so confident you changed my life. They're like, next. So in the celebrity world and like, listen, some people are meant to do celebrity styling. Some people love celebrity styling. It just was not for me. So what you have to understand is for celebrities and models, 
this is part of their job. Getting dressed is part of their job and they lead very, very busy and demanding lives. So they have, you know, their publicist and their manager and there's a photographer and, and there's directors. They, you know, oftentimes will be like, cool, you have an hour with them. Like stylist, you have an hour with them and she doesn't wear this, this, and this, and you can't make eye contact with her. And like, da -da. so it I wasn't getting that like warm, fuzzy feeling that I experienced working retail. And I'm like, ugh, this was just not what I imagined. So we have long hours. We have awful at times celebrities and they're not all awful. Um, but the lack of the warm and fuzzies, that's what we'll call that bullet point. Okay. So overall, I just didn't feel fulfilled, right? I didn't feel fulfilled. So it wasn't until I had one of a random person, I was teaching a workshop about celebrity styling. And she was like, I wish I were a celebrity because you could be my stylist. And I said, wait, what if I took everything I learned styling celebrities and working in this crazy world and just started my own business doing that for regular people? And it was like, oh, this is the perfect job for me. Demanding hours, no more. I could create my own hours. Now, of course, starting and running a business does take a lot of time, but you're still on your own schedule for the most part, right? So it could be a Tuesday and I'm like, mm, I'm going shopping today. I'm going to go hang out by the pool today. And then when I feel like it, I'm going to start working at 7 p.m. Because I feel like it, right? I'm going to only do client fittings on Thursdays and Saturdays because that's how I set up my business with celebrity styling, fashion styling, all that. They're like, yeah, the Grammys are on this day. You can't be like, actually, I had a family vacation plan. They're like, yeah, we'll just get another stylist. So personal styling, make your own hours. Celebrity styling, you are, you know, beholden to their hours. Uh, Celebrities can be assholes. <laughs> Regular people can be assholes too. However, you get to choose the types of people you want to work with. And 99.9% .9 of my clients are an absolute delight, right? 99.9% .9 of my students are an absolute delight. When you're working with celebrities and you're trying to build your book, you're like, I need that celebrity in my portfolio. You can't be like, but they're a jerk. Sometimes you don't know they're a jerk until you actually start working with them. And it could be heartbreaking too. You're like, oh my God, I loved her in all her movies. And she's a total bitch. Like this is awful, right? And the, the fulfillment, the fulfillment that I feel when I'm doing personal styling is just off the charts. I get letters, I get hugs, I get flowers, I get gifts because I've truly been able to impact someone's life through a gift that was just God given. You know, of course I have fine tuned my gift through education and practice and all the things involved in like honing in your craft, but just naturally, you know, when God was like picking things for people to be good at, he was like fashion, Lauren, I'll give that to Lauren. Bloop. The fact that I get to use that, to make other people feel good and look good leaves me feeling so fulfilled. Where with celebrity styling, I just felt like I was part of a machine. Now, other people have different motives. You can be like, but I'm a celebrity stylist and I totally disagree with your video. That's fine because that's you. The things that fulfill you are different than what fulfills me. But I know for a fact that there's a lot of people out there who love fashion, who love styling, but just don't feel in alignment with the fashion industry, with the entertainment industry. And for people like that, just know there is an entire industry of personal styling waiting to welcome you in, where you get to dress every day, men and women for a living, and you get to make them feel happy and confident and beautiful.
If you want to become a personal stylist and start a styling business of your own, well, I am definitely the girl to help you inside of my program, Style Boss Academy. Now I only open up this course a couple times per year and we're opening up again on May 12th. So if you want to get in, you need to get in, all right? If you wanna enter into this industry of personal styling and start your own styling business where you can help women feel more confident and beautiful, or men, whoever you want, whoever you want to dress and help feel confident, you can do this for a living. And in fact, I am teaching a free workshop called How to Build Your Style Empire. It is a two hour workshop, 100% free. I invite you to come in where I will tell you the secrets to starting a business that is purpose driven and profitable. So the link to register is down below. Give it a little tippity tap and get up in here because it is time to change some lives and make some money through the power of personal styling. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please tap the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, why don't you share this with someone who you think would make an amazing personal stylist? And I'll see you in the next video.